Yo, what is up, YouTube man? Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best two-way skilled stretch for an NBA 2K21 next year. Really quick, if you guys would, man, if you would just drop a like and subscribe, of course, I would appreciate it. So this build right here is going to be a unique build that does unique things on the court. And I'm going to explain everything as I'm going along in this video. you got to make it a power forward, of course, because it is a stretch four. If you make the same build at center, it's going to be a two-way skilled stretch five. So it's got to be a power forward. We're going height 6'7", weight 271, and then the wingspan, we're going 7'3". Now with finishing, we're going to get that 85 driving dunk. You get the pro contact dunks at 84, but having 85, you unlock a lot more packages, so it's definitely worth the one attribute. Layup, 80, close shot, 84, post control, 85. We're going to do shooting, mid-range, 3.80 and 84. That is going to give you a consistent everything. You'll be able to fade with that, take off dribble threes with that. It is crazy how consistent an 83-pointer is. Playmaking, we got to get that ball handle at an 81. At 80, you get the pro dribble moves, of course. That's why we got it past 80. 69 speed with ball, pass accuracy is 70 to have some bullet passer. And 70 pass accuracy is actually very fast in this game. It's definitely faster than I even expected it to be. And then with the defense, 80, 85, 72, you guys can copy this down. You guys may be wondering why put strength up, why have close shot, why have post control. 81 ball handle with the 69 speed with ball is faster than you think it is, but you're still not going to be a point guard-esque level speed. Sometimes if you have a very fast defender on you, it's going to be pretty difficult to actually get open with dribble moves. That's why I have this post control, so I am also a post score with this build. If you guys didn't know, I'm going to be saying it in a lot of videos. Post fades are so overpowered, and this build can get post scoring takeover, post shot daggers. I promise you guys, if you get the post fade down, the post hop shot down, and you activate post shot daggers, no guard guarding you, no matter how fast, no matter how good their defense is, is going to be able to stop you from dominating them in the post. And then you could take turns literally post fading on them, hitting them with a post hop shot, and then you can ISO them up, do a step back green on them. This build gives you an option to play any way you want. I mean, if those takeovers tell you anything, you are a spot up shooter, you are a glass cleaner, you are a lockdown, you are a post scorer. You could just catch, you can just catch and shoot shots from the corner if you're playing with a bunch of ball handlers. You can be the main ball handler and dime people because you have that pass accuracy, you have that ball handle to get you those pro driven moves. You are a slasher, you got the 85 driving dunk, especially if you can really time the aggressive contact dunks you can pretty much do that every single time the badges is going to be tricky i cannot tell you guys what to put on because i'm not sure what you guys want to do with this build i mean things like posterizer slithery finisher of course those are always going to be great badges no matter what you're doing but you may want to put on drop stepper post spin technician back down plunisher if you're playing the twos or ones maybe if you're just spotting up you don't need those badges you could put on badges like Unstrippable. You have a high close shot, so you could put on Teardropper, Acrobat. I've seen some people do some pretty glitchy things with the Euro steps, with the hop steps this year. That is definitely going to be a slept on badge all year. And you can post hook in NBA 2K22 next gen. Your close shot is your post hook rating. So if you want to put on Pro Touch on Hall of Fame, definitely try it out. Limitless Takeoff, again, it's just going to be one of those badges. It goes with Posterizer, it goes with Silvery Finisher. You always want to be able to dunk. Definitely throw that on with the shooting. Hot Zone Hunter, of course. Sniper is an amazing badge. I would recommend putting that on Hall of Fame, especially if you're really good at timing your jump shot. Hey, Fade Ace Hall of Fame, of course, man, especially if you're going with that takeover that I recommended, a post-scoring takeover. You will be able to be automatic from the free throw line. Definitely try that on. Playmaking badges, quick first step silver. Like I said, it would be nice to be able to get that to gold or Hall of Fame, but that's why we made this build so versatile, so you don't just have to be a one-dimensional scorer. Badges like Bailout, Dimer, Glue Hands, Needle Threader, Post Playmaker is definitely a badge to put on this build if you're playing twos, especially you can dot your dude out of your post moves a ton. Bullet Passer is going to be nice to have on. Hyper Drive, whenever you're running down court with a 6'7 player, and you have that badge to kind of chain some dribbles together, it, it's, it's crazy. I've tested it out. It's nuts. Also, if you're playing a lot of threes, if you're playing a lot of fives, downhill on gold, once you have that, once you're going down the court, you're going to be a freight train. Nobody is going to be able to stop you. Needle Threader still works great this year. Space Creator, even with this build, can be very deadly. With the defensive badge, it's got to have some Intimidator on. Chase Downs are back. Chase Downs are OP this year. You don't even need this badge on anything, but I would recommend putting it on gold just so you chase down everything. Clamps. I would put Pogo Stick on, especially if you're playing a lot of 1v1s. Trust me when I say you can never have too many jumps in the paint when you're playing a paint masher. And if you are playing with somebody that likes screens, Brickwall Silver is actually pretty effective. Let me know what you guys think of the video, man. Let me know what you guys think of the build. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.